hi guys and welcome to excel tutorial of how to develop a multiplication timetable so i'm going to start by clicking on this blank workbook and then go straight to your developer tab and then select visual basic or you can always press alt f11 to get there anyway now i'm going to now select insert use click on user form and i'll just define the form that much that's good enough for me the next thing that i need is going to be let's grab oh, okay let's grab hold of uh, a list box so i'm just going to drag it that much that is fine then we need a text box where we enter our text component and right here we also need a label here somewhere here and that is it then we also need buttons click on that we have one button here and uh, maybe just click and drag we have another one and maybe just one more depends so I'm now going to select all of these components and let's go to the properties then just kind of like increase the font size font size to something a little bit readable there we go now let's give each of these components a name so this one is going to be txt txt times table there we go that is fine the list box is going to be LST times table and this one is going to be CMB times table here I'm going to call that CMB CMB reset and finally this is going to be known as CMB exit that's fine so let's also change the caption name this is exit reset and right here that is going to be times table there we go there and here in this list box or label I mean I'm going to just say entire number enter a number there we go and that is it okay so the next thing now is I'm going to double click on the times table button and maybe right up here let's do one thing there now we can just we, we can declare the variable in there let's say dim q as integer and let's say using the for loop is a four for q equals one to 12 and once that is done we now need to enter the details straight into the list box LIST times table dot add item and the item that we're going to be adding is the content we have inside the queue so right underneath here let's get it nested okay let's go to say next okay once that is done maybe we should just try let's try this out this should generate some just pure alphabet for us uh, just numbers this will generate numbers for us if i click on this there we go 1 to 12 that is fine okay let's come back in here the next thing we now want to do is whatever we enter inside the text box so let's assume we have a comma 
we call that t so whatever we enter inside t t equals txt times table that's what my t is going to be there we go so now let's come here to the list box we now want to add the details of t we say let's go by entering and and that is going to be multiplied by whatever we have in there enter another and there then the next value is going to be t and okay we have t that will be equals and q multiply that by t there that is it so if i run it now whatever value i enter in here there we go and that's how you create your own multiplication timetable so here let's just do one thing let's double click on this so that we can reset so in there we're going to say txt we can even copy this copy that and paste it right in here the text equals reset and the lst we need to clear that dot clear so the two components that can be clear and we enter another details there we go clear enter whatever there okay very good so when we clear it let's get this text box dot i think that should be set focus there yeah, that is fine now as for the exit let's just say end and that is it run there we go run it again enter some value in there there we go reset enter whatever there and that's how you create your own multiplication timetable in excel vba so with that i'm going to say bye for now